Hello, I am so glad you took a few minutes to check this out. First, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Tiffany Bastian, and the rumors you heard are true. I am an advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I do have an MBA in accounting, and yes, I am an IRS enrolled agent. But more importantly, I'm a small business owner just like you, and I'm always refining my processes to increase efficiency and lower my costs. Today, I wanna to show you one of my favorite processes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I use Dubsado, QuickBooks Online, and QuickBooks Payments instead of Square, Stripe, or PayPal, another third-party merchant service. In the spirit of positivity, I'm not gonna tell you what I hate about those other payment processors. I'm just gonna share with you what I love about QuickBooks Payments. First and foremost, the fees come out separately. That is huge. As you know, with many of the other merchant services that are plugged into Dubsado, you will receive a, you will bill a customer, you'll receive a payment, but the amount that gets deposited in your account is not the same amount because they take the fee out of each and every payment, which makes reconciling an absolute nightmare and really, it's not efficient. The second thing I love is that QB Payments actually has lower rates than most of those other merchant services, and ACH is free. ACH is, I think, offered through Stripe at like 80 cents, 0.8% uh, or something like that, and then, but it caps out at $5. And I don't even think you can do ACH through PayPal or through Square. But ACH is free with QuickBooks Payments, and I absolutely love that. And I will tell you, at the end of this, how you can connect with me because I can get you even lower rates with QuickBooks payments than you can get on your own that you see on their current website. I get a little connection I would like to share with you, so stay tuned for that at the end. Um, the third thing is that QBO handles it all. So this means that you invoice the client through QuickBooks. You're gonna link that into your Dubsado form. Client's gonna get it. They're gonna open it. They're not gonna be, they're not gonna see it seamless to them. They're gonna to click to pay the invoice. Once they pay the invoice, it comes back to QuickBooks Online and says it's paid. It also then takes care of putting it to the undeposited funds account and matching it to the downloaded transaction when it comes in from your bank. You don't have to do anything. That is automation at its finest, that is beautiful, and these are the three reasons why I do it this way. So without further ado, let's get to the live demo. So let me just pull up some screens here so that I can show you. Let's see. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. So you're going to see here I have, I'm actually using my real file because I have QuickBooks payments turned on, and in order to show you this, you kind of need to see that piece of it. So um, we are inside John Smith here. This is a customer in QuickBooks Online. Uh, the second tab over here is Dubsado, where we have created a project for John Smith. I'm going to go into his project, and I'm going to add the contract. You'll see how the contract, here's what I do. I have this area that says, please click here to pay your invoice. This will be linked to the QuickBooks online invoice, and then it asks them to initial here, understanding that they, well, this should say, I apologize, this should say, I usually make this say, um, they initial here, I, ha I have paid the invoice above. And therefore, it's required for them to initial here and sign for this to even save, so it will remind them to come up here and pay this. So I apologize if this is not the correct verbiage I use. I'm just trying to put this together a little quickly. So forgive me. So we can, we're going to add the contract to this job, and that's gonna let us edit it, which rolls off the tongue a little funny there. And as you can see now, we can pick this section. So I'm going to go back to QuickBooks. I am going to go to a new transaction. I'm going to create an invoice. You can see we have a new invoice started here for John Smith. 
this is an important piece right here. This is your QuickBooks online or your QuickBooks payments feature. So as you can see, you can actually just make it so they are only allowed to use ACH. If you have a client you'd like them to use credit card, you can do that, vice versa. So when they get this particular invoice, those will be their payment options. So you get to choose that. Going to create, uh, we'll call this consulting. And we'll just make it $5 for fun. All right, so we're gonna not save and close this. We're gonna go and click this and say save, which is gonna save it to QuickBooks Online and share a link. So it's not going to email them the invoice. It's just gonna give me a link that I'm going to put into my Dubsado document. Let's go back over to Dubsado. We are going to double click this section, highlight the words pay invoice, link it to the invoice, Make sure you click open a new tab, insert the link, close it, and then we can save and close. And now we're going to send this uh, to myself actually so that I can show you what that looks like. So let's send the contract. Hey John Smith, here's your contract. Let's send that over. And I'm just gonna wait for that to come in, and then I will show you guys what John Smith sees on his end. There we go. Here's from Demo Inc. Here is what John sees. So he says, okay, he clicks on the contract. and he sees the contract. So he can click here now to pay the invoice. Oh, you know what? I believe it's because I'm logged in that I cannot. So let's just go ahead and see if I can log out <laughs> and then we can see what that looks like. Um, apologize. Okay, let's try that again. So this is what John sees. So he's going to see that he's missing fields, which he has to initial here, has to do this stuff here, and this obviously would say have paid the invoice above. So he's gonna click on this link. I'm not sure is why it's go. And voila, there's the invoice from QuickBooks Online directly connected into his contract. You can see he has options to pay here. It's got all the information. It actually has the copy of the invoice, and you control this template, what this looks like inside your QuickBooks Online. There's an activity feed, so if he had a question or wanted to upload something, he could do that here, and it would email you, and you could converse about this invoice before he paid it. Uh, another feature, so when he, he clicks on Pay Now, this is what it looks like. So he has the option of credit card, where he would put all his information in and he can save it so that in the future, if you send him invoices, it's already saved in here. He clicks the button, he comes in here and just pays it. Bank transfer, same thing. They put in their routing number and their account number. That's the ACH, that's free. And then there's PayPal, which is subject to the PayPal fees, as you know. So this is, we would log in with PayPal here. So those are the options they have. What happens then is once they've paid this invoice, it actually marks itself paid in QuickBooks Online and puts the funds into undeposited funds. Once it downloads from your bank the deposit, it actually knows what to match or bulk together, depending on what gets deposited to your bank, to match exactly for reconciliation. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, 
So that, that's that. Uh, the fees are charged separately, so it's ACH is free, but if they use a credit card, the fee comes out in a separate transaction after the deposit, so you know, it'll be like a 85 cent fee or, or whatnot. Um, easy to track. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? So I think the other thing I'd like to share with you is that um, the recurring, so I have clients who are on a same monthly fee every month, and I actually, you just have them fill out a form, and then you gather their uh, credit card, bank information, however they'd like to pay, and you can set a recurring template up in QuickBooks Online to bill them the same amount every month automatically without you or them doing anything. You can set like when it ends, if you wanted to bill forever or till a certain date. So say maybe you have a contract till next year, you could put it in until a certain date next year. So that's very helpful. Uh, the other important thing to probably point out is that, so I don't do any of my invoicing through Dubsado. I use Dubsado for pulling my leads in. Uh, I use Dubsado for all my workflows. Uh, as soon as a client says they want a, a file review, I have a workflow for that. As soon as they want to clean up, I have a workflow for that. Uh, all I simply do is create my invoices in QuickBooks Online, add that information to that workflow, and then everything else is automated on the back end. I will say it might seem like a little bit of work up front, but it's so much easier to copy and paste your link into that than it is to try to reconcile all the Stripe transaction fees or Square transaction fees against the other uh, the transactions themselves and how they get deposited in the bank. And this is this is such a more efficient method. My preferred method that I just wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, I think the last thing I have for you is the fact that I can get you, and let's see if I can pull this up here, and flip through the end, there we go. Here we go. This is my email address. If you are interested in learning more about how to do this, if you would like to turn on QuickBooks Payments, if you already have it, just to let you know, I can get you special rates lower than Square, Stripe, or even QuickBooks Online itself if you were to go sign up for it today. Uh, being a pro advisor and I am direct connectly connected with a um, QuickBooks reseller, I can actually get you even lower rates than you can see on the QuickBooks payment website yourself. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email. I will send you all the information over and hopefully we can get you all set up and running more efficiently. I hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day.